I'll admit it, I was wrong. Oh my goodness. So I have been doing some self-reflection in regards to my take on Spider-Man 2. And I think I've come to the conclusion, and it's a painful conclusion, but the conclusion is, nonetheless, that I was in fact wrong. I know. And I'm man enough, you know, to take my licks on the chin. I, I was very much being selfish in my understanding of Spider-Man 2. And this was brought to my, brought to my table by a caller named Mike a few days ago, in which he basically said, Lucas, gamers nowadays are dumb. They're not gonna be able to handle the, the web, uh, you know, the physics web-based mechanics of Spider-Man 2. And you were like, wait a minute, that means your hand was held, you had training wheels on. And he said, no. He didn't even notice, he didn't notice at all that his hand was being held during that engagement with the game. Gamers aren't the same anymore, Lucas. He legitimately didn't even know what he was doing in the game. So if we were to put physics into the game, like back then, nope, you're gonna have a bunch of it. people. I know where you're nah, going. You're gonna have a bunch of people. They're gonna be on uh, Metacritic saying, oh, this game is trash, it's broken, I can't move anywhere. Gamers are not people dumb. Are... They have not dumbed down gamers, bro. And after, you know, after thinking about what he said, I would actually agree. Because you have to understand that not everyone's going to want to have to master, uh, you know, swinging. Not everyone's going to want to pick up a game and have to spend hours and hours to get good at the game. For many people, and this is something that Gaffey, Jaffe touched on, was that for the casuals, they just want to pick up and play and have fun. I think in the same way that you have people that are movie snobs, aficionados, whatever you want to call them, same with music, whatever. They're so deep into it as a art form, and it's not just a surface enjoyment for them, that they're able to recognize when they're getting tired of the same old thing more often than others who are just sort of cursory engaged. Now, for some of us who have been playing games for quite some time, that doesn't cut it for us. So when we see something that is what we would call cookie, cookie cutter, which is, you know, just a big cutscene and you're just play, pushing circle to do you know, the bare minimum, but it looks cool, but the gameplay-wise is very childish, right? There's nothing going on gameplay-wise. There's just a whole bunch of visual effects and graphics and stuff like that going on around you. For many people, not all, but not for many people, that's all they want. I, this is something that, you know, that irks me to the utmost degree, is that when you have a game, people immediately go to the graphics. Oh, it runs at 60 frames, you know, it runs at 120K, you know, you know, all this. And I'm just like, where I mainly go to is like, okay, what's the gameplay? What new mechanics are we having in this game? I want to see something that I haven't done before in other games, or they have a fresh new take on, on you know, older mechanics. Because I don't know about you, but if I have to have Eagle Vision one more time in a game, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> it's... It's a tired out mechanic where every game, for example, the new uh, Assassin's Creed game, I'm going to get it because I like Assassin's Creed. I like that they're going back, you know, to the root, which is, you know, something I think they should have stuck with. But, you know, bygones be bygones. And they have the mechanic where he can, you know, teleport and do multiple kills. And I'm just like, I, I've played that too many times. It's, it's now, it's no longer a new fresh take. On, on stealth kills. I did that in Arkham Knight, you know, with the fear takedown. I've done that before. It's no longer fresh. It reminds me of a certain, uh, uh, a certain uh, uh, scene or a certain effect that many of the movies had. Remember the time, I forgot which movie actually, you know, started, but remember the time where there would be, you know, be a, a, a medium shot, you're inside the car and you're watching the person drive and then out of the, out of the, you know, in the, in the far distance, you see a light and the light would get closer and closer and be a car accident. But you got to see it from like the, you know, the passenger side. And when you first saw it, or when I first saw it, I was like, yo, that's a cool shot. That's freaking awesome. And then as time went on, everyone started doing that shot. And I was like, okay, now it's not fresh anymore. Now we need some more innovation. And that's what I'm looking for, but in Spider-Man. Because for me, honestly, I want game of the year. That's what I want. Because I want Spider-Man to be up there with Sekiro. 
I wanted to be up there with Overwatch, with, you know, uh, with Zelda. I wanted to be up there with Game of the Year. And unfortunately, it seems that's not where Insomniac is. Insomniac is making food for the masses. And that is just me being selfish of wanting them uh, to do a game that I think it would be better for a more mature and older audience. Don't get me wrong. McDonald's is great. It's delicious. But at the same time, there has to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, there has to be a Mastro's for a, a McDonald's. Everyone can't go to McDonald's. Not everyone likes McDonald's. So for another crowd, there has to be a Mastro's where a more mature audience can go. And that's not to say that the Mastro's can't eat McDonald's and the McDonald's people can't eat at Mastro's, but there has to be a variety. And when it comes to Sony, when it comes to PlayStation, if you keep on giving us this McDonald's, which don't get me wrong, it's good, it has a time and a place, but there, there's gonna be an audience where it's like, okay, I've had that. I want something that's better and newer. Give me something, give me, feed me, okay? You're feeding all the kids, now feed the adults. Because I've been trying to make this game in something what I would make it, right? How I would create it. And I would create it and, you know, I would want to innovate. If you give me a team of 15 to 20 people with a, a, a good, a substantial uh, a budget, all right, that Insomniac has or whatnot, I can definitely come up with some innovative ideas for Spider-Man, 100%. So the only issue that I can see that Insomniac may be dealing with is either A, time, and B, uh, the overlords, okay, the corporation, which is, hey, we want a sequel within this time period. And this is something, once again, Jaffe, you know, talked about, where it's like, you're going to need time to innovate, right? You're going to have to throw stuff in the engine, see if it works. You're going to have to prototype a lot of this stuff. And if you have a limited amount of time, you, you're not going to be able to innovate. So that may be a restraint that Insomniac is dealing with. So when it comes to, you know, hey, we have a sequel, what is something that we can get out that would appease the masses, right? And something that would appease the masses is web wings. I said I wanted web wings. Probably they look at, obviously, they look at other, you know, content creators and what people are saying, web wings. Now, there are other things that they could add and innovate. They just don't have the time to. So they're trying to appease the majority amount of people in the shortest period of time with web wings. That is their best bet. Web wings. Hey, it's something fresh. Uh, you know, it hasn't been done before. It'll appease, you know, the masses. And when it comes to me, I've slowly gotten out of the masses. I want more depth to my gameplay. And that's just not what they're delivering. And I just have to accept that. It's just not what they're delivering to me, okay? You can't go to, 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 to McDonald's and say, hey, I want a steak, all right, with shrimp on the side, you know, garlic butter. They're, they're gonna look at you like you're crazy. It's like, bro, then go somewhere else. This is not what we're dealing, this is not what we serve. So I just hope, my hope is, is that for Wolverine, they don't give us uh, the McDonald's version. They give, they, they give us the Gordon Ramsay version of Wolverine. Because if it's just a, a, you know, a paint job on Wolverine's Origins, which I think is an, an amazing game, the probably one, it's probably up there with Spider-Man 2, I would argue, um, then it, it, it's just it's going to fall flat, right? You gave us our McDonald's, which is Spider-Man 2. Now give us some, you know, give us some Mastro's, bro. Give us some Boa, okay? Give, give, us, give us some food for the adults. And I hopefully that is going to be Wolverine. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe, Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. Well, okay, fine. That's, that's true. It is McDonald's. It's, it's good food, but it's good, okay? You have to admit that it's good. Um, or if you believe, you know what? Yes, it is good. Absolutely. I think it's great. I think the web wings is great. I think the swinging is good. You know, the, the symbiote finishers good mcdonald's good help you know uh i won't say healthy but good fun food right it makes it, it's comfort food don't have a problem with that now if it was up to me i would probably go a different direction i would actually make some serious changes that would uh that would have people going wow because that sense of wow i don't think it's present in the same sense of of when we first saw spider-man ps4 and once again jaffe uh, uh talks about this in this video where it's like you don't want more of the same in the way you think you do. You want more of the same of, wow, that's freaking cool. You want that emotion to happen. And for some, if not many, that emotion isn't there. You'll accept it because it's like, hey, it looks good, 
But that same, you know, your stomach dropping from seeing new footage and it's like, oh my God, whoa, how did they do that? That's not there. And that's what I hope uh, they, they, uh, they give us, hopefully for, you know, the third one. Or, you know, they give us for Wolverine. Nevertheless, if you happen to disagree, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement days, which are typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. You call in, we do get out. Either or, that's the video. Uh, hope you guys, you know, like, share, subscribe, all oh, that fun stuff. And until next time, guys, be amazing. But, you know, bygones be bygones.